<laughs> Hello, everybody! Thank you for the so, poop, Cruz. Poop. <laughs> if we were thanking anyone for poop, it would be Christopher. <laughs> it would be Christopher. It's only appropriate. Um, welcome to the real Dylan Chu. Thank you for the follow. We are inching closer to that uh, 1,000 follower mark. Slowly but surely, guys. Slowly but surely. One follower at a time. Yeah. Yep. Alrighty. Greetings, curious crowd. Welcome to another Curious Fights, where we discuss what's going on behind the scenes with us, share our weekly discoveries and distractions, answer some curious cues, and more. Today is Monday, April the 4th. 2022. I am Rach. That is Ronnie. I'm back. That is Jams. Hey. And that is Pixel Gen. Um, give me one second, Cruz. I will. I will make those available in just a minute. There shouldn't be any out of stocks. It's just. We turn them. Off. We turn off all of the channel point redemptions uh, for our Nerds Are Us podcast streams because we don't want to get too distracted. Um, but we can be distracted during our our Monday streams because it's just chaos anyway. Plus, it's Monday, so yay, huzzah! <laughs> well, now you don't want to do it. Fine, be that way. No, calm down, Chris. <laughs> if you want to be difficult, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. We we it's don't okay. we don't do drama queens here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the only drama we like is other people's drama. <laughs> we don't want our own. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like Jam's Damn. got to the Damn. got that's to the film get. noir before Cruz did. She and that is like the type of petty that I love. <laughs> Thank you, Jam. We, we don't do drama, but we do petty. <laughs> Thank you for making us look all very like glamorous and black and white. I do like this film noir. Maybe we should I just do, do an entire stream where it's just this. I, I mean, I'm I'm cool with that. I I like. I like how everyone looks in black and white. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's flattering. I have like this rogue piece of hair that's just like sticking out that I'm trying to like fix, but it just keeps showing back up every so often. <laughs> you begin to inter interest us vaguely, Jimmy Jams. At least it's only vaguely. <laughs> only vaguely. Yes. There, you can do it now, Chris. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> while Cruz is deciding what to spend his monocles on, let's kick things off with what happened in our Curious Corner. Uh, last Thursday, we wrapped up our mini-series on women empowerment icons with our special guest, Letitia. If you missed that conversation, we will have that up on YouTube uh, shortly. And that is where you can find all of our previous live podcast episodes. Um, exclamation point YT, which I still haven't fixed yet. It's I need to fix it. <laughs> For my own sanity, I need to fix it. Um, this week, we will be welcoming back our dear friend, the Fox, the lovely Shannon Fox. Uh, we'll be talking about our lists of shows that were canceled too soon. And in parentheses, shows that should have ended way sooner than they did. <laughs> so... Uh, bring your lists with you and uh, join our conversation on Thursday. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, again, no, no shitting on other people's fandoms. We're it, this is all in good fun. Yep. Uh, let's see what else is happening with us. I am still working on getting the latest episode of our official podcast. It's on the list, edited due to some technical issues and my computer hating me. 
uh, that's being <laughs> delayed. So uh, you can listen to all of our previous episodes, huh? In the meanwhile, um, we are well into our third season. I think we're wrapping up our third season quite shortly, which is kind of crazy. Um, and you can find that on Anchor or any of your favorite pod platforms. Um, if you search Nerdy Curious or if you search, it's on the list. It should pop up. Boop. Um, exclamation point pod. We'll bring up the link to subscribe to our podcast. I think that is it on our end. Um, I do want to say that it's great to have Ronnie back. Um, having her out of pocket was was a challenge because someone needed to rein in all of the awkward that Jams, Jen, and I exude. Just okay. all the awkward. We and have all yet of to the find gadgets. somebody that is actually able to do that. I was gonna say, don't put that all on me. <laughs> <laughs> you're I... you're the best at doing it so far, from what I can tell. Uh, <laughs> sure. But yay! Welcome back, Ronnie. Thanks. I'm still not 100, percent so you may hear me say "ow" because uh, laughing still hurts, and uh, I forgot to. Um, uh, put my girdle back on <laughs> so um yeah you may hear me ow periodically yeah and we're gonna be doing a talk on lady parts uh in the future in general don't say uh, it like that that sounds weird <laughs> lady parts what's wrong with lady parts i mean it's sure Sure, but it's not those kind. I mean, well, I guess it's it's related. It's the to reproductive the system. Let's there you go. That yeah, yeah, it, the, yeah. Let's be specific. Women's I was gonna say lady bits, but then that's kind of weird. Women lady bits. Women's reproductive or choice of not being reproductive rights. There we go. Sure, we'll go with that. But yes, we'll we'll, we'll have a long discussion. Because there's in case a lot anyone to needs discuss. to learn things or is curious anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Cicero, come back. It's not today. We're not talking about <laughs> it today. We'll give everyone warning just in case they want to tune in or not. However, if you have a lady in your life, you may want to know. Mm-hmm. So. Or if you don't have a lady in your life. <laughs> You see, or this don't is want you ladies, don't say or lady you don't parts. want ladies in your life. That's totally cool too. <laughs> and then there are other people that are okay with us talking about lady parts. Cruz, <laughs> Cruz can join in on the conversation. Probably. It seems like it seems like everyone just like perked up when we said lady parts. Everyone's just like, "Wait, what? What's happening?" They all they all came in at lady parts. Yes, so you like manifest. But hello, Cicero. Say- hello, Tim. <laughs> This is not the conversation on Lady Parts. (laughs) That's a future conversation. Indeed. Don't worry, I have selective hearing when I when I listen to streams as well, so it's fine. It happens. Um, let's move on to our what the duck, even though that was a funny what the See, this is the thing about what the duck, is that it could be used for like positive funny things and also really ducky things. It works in both scenarios. Indeed. Indeed. So we're gonna we're gonna venture into both and take a look at what was great and what was not so great about the Grammys, which happened yesterday, in case people were unaware. Um, I have like this renewed sense of wonder of award shows for some strange reason. Since I semi tuned in for the Oscars and I tuned in for the Grammys, well, semi tuned in for the Grammys, um, it's been a very interesting award season, to say the least, even though the viewership hasn't been all that great. Um, I still found it entertaining. And the reason why I love the Grammys is because of the performances. I feel like that is where the Grammys really shine. And I'm a big music nerd, so seeing all the performers every year is just it's fun in comparison to some of the other award shows which is just very stuffy in my opinion so um 
we're going to take a look at the beautiful and smiley and wonderful John Baptiste, who, uh, in a in a in a ducky upset, but in a really awesome ducky upset, won for album of the year. Um, he was surprised. Everyone seemed to be surprised, but I couldn't have picked a more gracious and wonderful person to to win album of the year and he gave a really beautiful speech um i highly recommend you guys check it out it's i'm pretty sure it's on the grammy um youtube channel and the grammy twitter page and all their social medias um so super stoked for him um other big winners were silk sonic uh they picked up the other two big awards record and song of the year with leave the door open which that was very unsurprising um they looked fantastic, and it sounded like they were going to um, buy everyone drinks after winning, uh, <laughs> after winning record of the year. So uh, yeah, and they, they also performed at the top of the show. Um, I wish I could be in Vegas and to watch their um, their residency because I've heard only good things, and it's. Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack, so I mean you can't go wrong, honestly. I um this, uh, glitz and glam outfit situation happening. <laughs> yeah, he he was in a very, very cool outfit. Um and then Best New Artist went to Olivia Rodrigo. So lots of uh Gorgeous musicians of color winning um, in a, a number of the awards. Uh, Doja Cat and SZA won, and it was hilarious because Doja went to go to the bathroom and literally had like seconds before she was. <laughs> they announced her as a winner, and she was like running to the stage <laughs> from the <That's> bathroom. <laughs> um, and the performances, the performances were very good. I will, I will touch upon the performances in my D and Ds. But uh, it it was a really good show. I think Trevor Noah did an excellent job hosting, and um, overall, really really fun evening. And the ladies were were well represented in the in the winners, so that's always fun too. Nice. All right, now that we got all the positive stuff out of the way. <laughs> uh oh. Let's talk about some of the controversy surrounding the this year's Grammy Awards. Um, and one in particular that really stood out to me that definitely needs um, attention is the fact that um, Louis C.K. won a Grammy Award. And there was a lot of discourse on social media about the fact that um men can like brianna wrote in her tweet and i feel like this is just the perfect way of summing it up that men can se sexually prey on women the victims can have their careers and confidence destroyed it can all go public and there will still be no real consequences um and that was pretty much the overall uh feeling of of um the fact that cancel culture doesn't really exist and people need to uh understand that um some people can have careers and win awards despite the fact that they are terrible human beings I also want to say that there is a disparity in the um, Recording Academy voting. Um, I believe it's one of every five uh, voting members are women. Um, so there is also that. That definitely needs to change. That's all very fun. Fun facts. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really stoked for all of the winners. Um, I think it's really important that we celebrate those who won, but also recognize that there is a long way to go um, to help uh, clean up, so to speak, the people that are allowed 
to uh, make decisions and hand out the awards. Definitely not surprising information, but you know, I think it's something that people need to to really consider. Um, and this isn't just the Recording Academy. Um, this is all academies. Okay, um, let's move on to our D&Ds. And I think OBS is trying to let me move on, but my computer isn't. <laughs> it saw the duck and was like, ugh. I think Christopher abandoned us. He got pissy. Oh, I'm sorry, Cruz. Come back. You can make us noir. You got a Beetlejuice him, I think. <laughs> Churro man. <laughs> <sighs> Churro man. Churro man. Churro man. How many Churro times man. we need to say it? I, we I we haven't five. really established the rules. No, if it's, we if it's like Candyman, it's five. Okay. He tends but. to just appear whenever we talk about him, so. Or Totoro? Totoro. So we have. Jen actually sent in some D&Ds, even though she couldn't be with us. And it's funny that she posted these because I also ended up um, scrolling upon them separately on my own. And so it was funny to see the same. Um, the same video show up in her in her list. But uh, this is a delightful video of the wonderful Renee um, Goldsberry, who is doing a concert. And um, she ended up rapping um, Satisfied um, and uh, kind of hyping up the, uh, the sign language uh, interpreter, Tony. Um, and it was just super fun and you know that her rap is like extremely fast and so mm -hmm. he was really uh, motoring to get all of the uh, lyrics in and it was just so cute um, with Renee just kind of like um, getting all excited um, about seeing him sign so it's very delightful if you haven't seen it yet, he got his he got his workout. <laughs> <laughs> he did. It, it. I mean, I mean, most people in the chat have have seen Hamilton. Yes. No. Uh, Renee's rap is legendary. So um, to see it being song. signed is pretty is pretty impressive. Yeah. But yeah, do check it out. Super fun. And Renee just getting excited is just delightful to see. So definitely. She's great. Out. <laughs> and then uh Jen's second um D D is Disney just released not that long ago the um sing along version. Um <laughs> <laughs> of Four Townies biggest hit and it's super fun. Um it's like a full on music video and you can sing along a la the old school Disney sing along uh bouncing star. Um it's not a Mickey head, but you know, it's good enough. Also Four Townies for life. <laughs> Adorable. so cute. I want an entire album. I want an entire Four Townies album. <clears throat> and tour. Oh god. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Just putting yeah. it out there. Yeah. Oh, it's me. Let's see. Okay. 
So um, our lovely friend, Bianca, who we've had on multiple times, was basically living in my brain the past week because all I'm like looking on so uh, looking up on social media and basically my entire feed on Instagram, everything is just Simone. She makes me very happy. Um, and she's just a glory. I mean, just look at that profile. I know Rach just grabbed the screen cap because it's actually a gif of her giving like attitude. But um, the... Uh, I mean, she's just, she's just a stunning woman, um, and so yeah, I'm just I'm just obsessed. And uh, yes, I have seen Bridgerton multiple times now. I'm not gonna even say how many times I've seen it, because um, it's just it's getting to the points of ridiculous. But um, it's just nice to have it in the background <laughs> whenever I'm doing stuff. So, um, but either way, yeah. So I'm still obsessed about Simone. Uh, if uh, no one has seen uh, Sex Education, I highly recommend you watch that show as well because she's killer in that too. So she's so pretty. She's, I mean, like for fuck's sake, like how dare you be that angular? And, I, and a shout out to the the makeup department for just getting all of like the dewiness. Like, the natural yeah. dewiness of her skin, it's just, like, it jumps off the screen. She just has, like, she, she's, yeah, her skin is just perfection throughout the entire thing. But, anyway, yeah. How dare you be beautiful? Um, How dare. So, yeah, this is just a general reminder for everyone, because we are already done with the first quarter of the year if you can believe it so spread out that motherfucking pto there it's there for a reason you're getting paid so get to taking time off uh so it's just a reminder um sometimes twitter is useful <laughs> use your pto here here mm -hmm. i think everyone needs a good reminder sometimes the the grind culture is not, not good, and it's no. not sustainable. No. And I'm not, I know not everyone is like, like me, where like, I, I, the very first thing I do at the start of the year is I ask my HR person, ha send me my PTO, <laughs> my PTO chart, so I know exactly how many days I have, and I count those motherfuckers, <laughs> <laughs> and I start planning out like my entire year then I start spacing it out and I always save just like four days in, ca in case I get sick and hope to god that I don't get sick for longer than four days because <laughs> I'm using the rest of that time for my vacations <laughs> so uh so yeah but if you're not like me <laughs> just a reminder your PTO was there you need to use it so yeah yeah I I we actually here in BC, our government, I think they introduced it this year, um, five extra days of sick, like specifically for sick leave. And so we have like paid specific sick leave on top of whatever PTO that you save up. So I, it, yeah, we're, we're lucky here. <laughs> Yeah, we're a country of barbarians. They want us all to just to be deathly ill and be incredibly in debt and to be part of the grindhouse uh, uh, hamster wheel for uh, life. So um, that'll be another conversation in June. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> if so, anyone wants yeah. to jump in on that convo, message us. We'll be yeah. happy to have you on. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, hello, so. Chris. Welcome on in. Other Chris, Chris Perillo. Um Chris says, I need to remember this PTO for the win. I want to use it like have three day weekends stacked up versus three consecutive weeks. Ooh, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Especially right now, since uh, some people don't feel uh, safe to, to, to travel. Um, having Having a three-day weekend actually we should all move over to a four-day work week that's just my opinion on oh, that matter <laughs> sake. but only. again we'll have a conversation on that um yeah. cicero says hustle grind culture is toxic agreed it is supremely toxic we've been we've been tricked by corporations that if you are 
if you feel like taking PTO is uh, detrimental to your to your work, <laughs> or you feel guilty taking PTO, that is, you should never feel guilty about taking your deserved time off. Uh, hello, Alex. Welcome on in. Having a four week work. Ooh, words. Having a four work week, four day work week would be the dream. I I propose that that becomes a norm. Indeed, it should be a thing. One day, guys. One day, it's gonna happen. It's gonna be glorious. We're all gonna be extremely. We'll, we're all going to be just more productive in general because we don't feel so burnt out and tired. It's going to be great. Manifest. We're going to be we're going to be like eighty by the time that shit happens. To be <laughs> uh, Jamma Jams, you are up next. I am. <laughs> so my D and D is that I cleaned my kitchen <laughs> I've, been doing, I've been doing some spring cleaning and i was very proud of how my kitchen looks so i just had to share it with everybody it looks like great. well i haven't really been watching too many new things but here's here's what i've been doing <laughs> it looks good thanks yeah i mean technically that could have been one of my dnds too because after two weeks of being like in a horizontal position i like finally got up and like i put away my lawn like a huge laundry basket that had been like sitting on the other side of my room for like two weeks and then i cleaned my bathroom because it was hideous so yeah, yeah uh between having covid earlier this year and seasonal depression it just was one of those things that i was putting off for way too long and yeah. once i got into the groove i saw the progress happening and i was like yes i'm so glad i did this it looks Plus great it's the jams start it's... of the astrological year right so it's good to clean stuff out in theory mm -hmm. yeah i just wait for jams to confirm my witch talk because i don't know <laughs> yes yeah, spring cleaning is kind of a theme for two of the major holidays at the beginning of the year um Lytha and austera nice i'm just gonna continue to live in my chaotic mess <laughs> <laughs> all about letting that new fresh positive energy in cleaning out the old you should flip I a table right to come over and, and clean out <laughs> all the old I'm just Clean looking out at all, all the, the old, old around me. And, uh. <laughs> Ow. Oh. oh no. Don't hurt serious. yourself, Ron. We're serious. Uh oh. Boo. Um yeah, I need jams to come over and and help declutter the clutter. Um okay, so this is actually a shared D D between me and Jams. Um because the first episode of Moon Knight dropped last week. Uh, Jams, what did you think without any spoilers? I loved it. I did too. I, I don't really know anything about Moon Knight, so I wasn't sure what to expect going into this show, and I really liked it. I, I am in the exact same boat. Um, I think I actually prefer it that way, but I'm not as familiar with the source material mm -hmm. um that way the expectations really are zero and not you know there's no like lingering like oh i was expecting this this and that um oscar is absolutely delightful i can't wait to see more also i may have yelled damn you ethan hunt <laughs> at my screen <laughs> i'm sorry ethan hawk at my yeah. screen um which was a weird reaction when I was processing it. But eh, it is what it is. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> in it is, is super fun, so. Yeah. Agreed, Cicero. O Oscar is just wonderful eye candy. Mm-hmm. 
Is okay. his accent uh, distracting at all? Nope. I was expecting it to be, but nope. No. Okay. Kind of made me think of Taika. <laughs> Interesting. I think okay. it was like the scruffiness and the silver, mm -hmm. and you're like, I'm reminded of Taika. Yeah, the way the way that he speaks, it, it it's almost like Korg is speaking through Oscar Isaac. <laughs> I don't know how to interpret that, but okay. <laughs> Cicero said he had an accent. Shows what, oh. shows what I was paying attention to. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. No, the, the, I, I mean, Oscar's a gorgeous man, but the, the, that was like the first thing I noticed when I saw the, the trailer. I was just like, oh, no. <laughs> it's a very specific regional British accent. It is not it is, your yeah. typical um, posh. No. No. Uh, accent it's i actually think he he did a really good job but again i'm not british so i'm gonna leave the accent commentary to the brits um yeah. for its accuracy because i do know that they didn't film any of it in in the uk which i thought was really funny um even though it's you know <laughs> supposed to be like set oh bless you even it's <laughs> even though it's supposed to be set in london i believe yeah um but yeah i didn't have a problem with it he was he was quite convincing with the accent cool i haven't seen it yet but it's on it's on the list i may wait until some more episodes get released so that i can watch a few back to back um yeah, I was going to binge watch it, but then I ended up um, being very curious after my friend was like, have you seen it yet? And so I definitely was like, okay, I need to watch it. And it was great. It it was super fun, and I can't wait for more episodes. It was a very good introduction to the Moon Knight. Uh, Tim says, I think Americans have been bothered and Brits were kind of praising a job well done, even if not perfect. Better than most Americans doing a British accent. Yeah, it The seems bar is like... low. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Brits are better at doing an American accent than the Americans are at doing a British accent, in my opinion. Yeah, infinitely so. Yeah. It's embarrassing. <laughs> but... In terms of it being distracting, I think Oscar did a really good job. Because it, it I mean, didn't he's feel distracting. distracting. He's distracting enough in other ways. Yes. Yeah. So I'm sure it balances it out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I did take some time to just like stare at his face. So. I'm sure. I'm sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> it's only right. Thank you, Marvel. Thank you. <laughs> um, my second D and D is a short documentary um, from a Canadian filmmaker, um, Tiffany Shung, and it's about her finding her mother's parents um, who were separated from her mother approximately 30 years or so. Um, and Tiffany flies to Taiwan to try to find her grandparents um, with basically just their names scribbled on a napkin. And it kind of unravels the story of um, her grandmother and the heartbreaking choices that she had to make um, for her children. And it is a beautiful story about family and identity and um, generational trauma, which seems to be a running theme in everything that I've been watching lately, which is annoying, but also like supremely cathartic. So uh, this is available to watch in full on CBC Gem. So if you do have a VPN, which we're not, you know, necessarily saying that you should do, but uh, you, you can you can watch it in full. <laughs> um, I don't know where else you can you can get it. Um, it's really difficult to get Canadian content anywhere. And CBC Gem has been wonderful in being able to discover a bunch of new documentaries, especially. Um, I'm watching another one currently. I'm, 
I've only just started it, uh, called Leftover Women, about um, working class women in in China who are struggling to find um, life partners and um, and the the pressures of of getting married and starting a family. Um, so, yeah, lots of lots of fun fun interesting content that is like extremely relevant. It's like the algorithm knows to attack me with everything. Um, but yeah, check out Sing Me a Lullaby. Uh, I highly recommend bringing tissues. It is a it is a bit of a emotional journey, so just a fair warning if you do end up watching it. But it's a very beautiful story. And then my other bonus is um, the Grammy Awards performances. There were a couple of standouts. Um, Billie Eilish and her brother. Um, uh, Little Nas X's performance. Um, Chris Stapleton and Brandi Carlile. But of course, the, the boys of BTS really delivered. And they they knocked it out of the park. Everyone was saying it was the best uh performance of the evening i agree and it was a very theatrical james bondy um dance break in the middle which was really fun so unfortunately they didn't win uh their 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 one nomination they did not win um this is the second year now and i'm starting to sense a pattern here and yeah, it's we'll really talk about really that. frustrating <laughs> so i'm hoping the grammys will get there their shiz together and um you know give them their rightful grammy at some point but it was disappointing to see them lose however um seeing uh doja cat and sizzle win the award was was truly a magical moment <laughs> in the show so um next time i guess And that is our D&Ds. Um, you can find all of our D&Ds um, in our shiny newsletter that Ronnie painstakingly puts together every week and sends out on Sunday. Um, please subscribe. We do, we do some uh, surprise giveaways from time to time, and Ronnie actually just uh, delivered a couple of goodies to our previous winners um so subscribe it's gonna be super super fun um exclamation point news uh to subscribe to our newsletter uh subscription or death as our foxy looks uh tim is asking have you talked about doja saying she's quitting music i did not know this um i didn't realize that she was thinking about uh quitting she's very talented um she's also a very talented dancer but that's news to me also i really liked um the moment in her speech where she kind of <laughs> she kind of got extremely emotional and she said that you know sometimes i i like to like downplay a lot of things but you could just tell that that award really meant a lot to her um, and sweet. being recognized. So, um, representation matters. Um, but yeah, I didn't know that she was thinking about quitting. Um, okay. Our final, thanks, Tim. Our final, um, segment of our chat show is our spotlight shoutouts. Ladies, do you have any anyone or anything that you would like to shine a spotlight on? Yes. Um, <clears throat> one of our other lovely um, guests that we've had on multiple times, Amanda, who uh, recently had a conversation with uh, Rach on um, women icons. Um, I wanted to give her a shout out because she's been doing so many wonderful interviews. Um, on uh all of i mean due to all of her um like p 
period piece uh, uh, knowledge in entertainment. And so she's been doing quite a few interviews and she got a chance to actually talk to um, the first uh, black director who also happens to be a woman um, for Outlander. And so she was able to uh, interview her and it was a, a really great interview. Um, it's available on Den of Geek. And um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm really proud of her and, and I always love reading her stuff. She's an incredible writer and um, she just has amazing thoughts and she expresses them just so. So um, again, if you guys aren't following Amanda, I highly recommend that you do. Um, and then uh, the second shout out is to Abigail and Emily for winning a Grammy for the unofficial Bridges <laughs> musical. That's just like, I found out that on the news this morning. I was just like, holy shit. Uh, how amazing to focus all your energy on like your own just kind of fan project and it take off and hit so many <laughs> chords with so many people and uh, they won a Grammy. It's crazy. So well deserved. Do your thing, guys. Do your thing. Do that thing. <laughs> Jamie Jams. I got nothing. Um, I did have a shout out. Um, I guess I want to say like a general um, shout out to everyone in Artist Alley at WonderCon over the weekend. Um, I got to see a lot of updates from some of the people that we have been lucky enough to purchase things from and admire from afar. Um, it seems like uh, it was a really successful weekend. Um, I know that Priscilla had a really good weekend. Um, as per usual, her, her exclusives sold out pretty quickly. And super excited about that for her. And um, some of our friends who we've met over the years at these conventions um, got to return to cons some of them for the first time and some of them were able to cover the cons like they they were before so a special shout out to gb reviews um violet and josh who are our um, blogging buddies and uh and their awesome coverage of, of WonderCon. so yay for conventions coming back yay for people still respecting other people's safety and um i think it's i think it's a great start to the con season um it's been long overdue for some of those conventions um and hopefully we'll be able to return to that as well at some point um but yeah yay I'm trying to think what else. I had something else. That one was like one, but I. If I remember, I'll share it on the twits. Um, but that is it. That is a wrap on this week's Curious Bites. Um, thank you everyone for joining us in chat. Um, we are at Nerdy Curious all over the damn place, but mostly on Twitter. Let's find someone to raid. Um, if you can drop the raid messages. Jams. That would be mm -hmm. great. Um, oh, I forgot to mention we will be taking a wee break um, in the middle of April. So we'll be off for two weeks. Um, we will have uh, Nerds R Us this week on Thursday. Um, we, we may or may not have Curious Bites next Monday. I feel like we might do one last one before we go on like an official small break. Um, but we will be back, um, the last week of April and we'll have our entire schedule on our social medias. So we will let you know when we are streaming and when we're not streaming to check out some of our friends who stream and are doing awesome work on the Twitch. Uh, <laughs> Cicero, we haven't, we haven't officially taken a break from streaming. Uh, since we started in August of 2020. So we figured we should follow our own advice on PTO 
um, and take a bit of a break. We're going to be taking an extended break um, in the summertime, but this is this is a mini break so that we can recharge and, and figure out the rest of our streaming schedule, which we did a lot of planning for already last weekend. So fun times. You have lots to look forward to. I'm excited. Um, let's find someone to read. If anyone has any suggestions, please let us know. I think Jen Jair is on. Yeah, Jen Jair, Chris Perillo. Okay, we haven't we haven't rated Jen and Jerome in a while. Um, so let's kick things over to Ginger Gaming. If you're not following Jen and Jerome, please give them a follow. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Jen. Um, thanks again, everyone. We will see you on Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific for our regularly scheduled Nerds Are Us. Um, we're going to be discussing shows that we thought were canceled too soon and shows that should have been uh, over before they actually were over. Uh, bring your lists. It'll be fun. Let's compare. Um, so yeah, that's this Thursday. Until then, if you have to go out, please remember to continue wearing your masks, get vaccinated if you can, and that booster when it's available. Don't be a dick. It's important. And stay curious. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> wow, that was a very intense stare down, Jams. I love it. <laughs> I love how there's like a, always like a different variation. Please use those uh, <laughs> raid messages, and we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Did you want did you Bye. do an appropriate Aries season jack off? Is that what you did? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs>